Hello everyone. I am Dr. Hari Prakash Chakravarti, a stroke and interventional neurosurgeon working at Astor Institute of Neurosciences, Bengaluru. Today's topic of discussion is stroke. So let's know what stroke is. Stroke is caused due to damage of brain, either due to a bleeding or because of blockage of blood flow to the brain. It is one of the commonest cause of morbidity and disability in the world. Approximately 4,000 people in India have stroke every day and 90% of them do not get adequate treatment in the right time. Due to stroke, patients develop irreversible damage to the brain and have a paralysis or a speech disturbance or even death. This just doesn't affect the patient. It affects the patient its family and the whole society. These patients, if had to be treated in time, would have be a asset to the society. So how do we recognize stroke? In stroke, we have an acronym called FAST. FAST basically represents F is for a facial asymmetry or a weakness of face. A is for an arm drift or a weakness of the arm or limbs and is the speech disturbance and the T most important of all is the time to lysis that means thrombolysis so when the patient develops a stroke because of a blockage of a blood vessel there's a time duration we have to restore the blood flow for the blood to get into the brain and make it to start functioning if we surpass that time the brain dies and even if we do restore the blood flow the brain will not recover. So time is very crucial for us here. So when a patient or a relative or any of your nearby person develops these symptoms, you have to immediately send them to a stroke ready hospital. A stroke ready hospital is a place where a neurologist, a neurosurgeon and an interventionist are working in tandem to take care of these patients. So once the patient comes to the ER, a stroke ready hospital, a patient goes to a CT scan automatically. And once the CT scan is done, we rule out a bleeding. If there's no bleeding, that means it's because of a blockage of the blood vessels. The next main thing is to rest restore the blood flow. So we do an angiogram, either an MR angiogram or a regular angiogram, take him to the cath lab or a suite where an angiogram is done and look out for which is the blood vessel is blocked. If the blood vessel is blocked, then we do something called a mechanical thrombectomy, where we do an endovascular procedure using a system of catheters that passes through your femoral artery that is in the thigh to your head and then we pass a stent retriever that opens up the blood vessel and holds on to the cloth that's blocking the blood flow and then we can pull it down. So this system is a very effective way of treating ischemic stroke. As I had mentioned, ischemic stroke is one of the most common type of strokes and 80% of the patients who develop a stroke have a ischemic stroke. Sometimes in 20% of these patients, it might be because of a bleeding. So when a patient has come with a bleed, we have to assess why the reason of the bleed is, why the bleed has happened. So in these patients, we do either a CT scan or a MRI to find out the cause of a bleed. And one of the most common cause of bleeding is hypertension. The second most common cause of bleeding is a subarachnoid hemorrhage. In a patient who has had a subarachnoid hemorrhage, it's due to either a rupture of a blood vessel due to a blister in the blood vessel or because of a rupture of a arteriovenous malformation. So both have to be treated aggressively. If we don't treat these patients aggressively, they end up dead or severely disabled. So sending these patients to a stroke ready hospital is of the foremost concern. So I would want to tell each one of you that purpose of this talk is to mainly make sure that you will be able to recognize stroke 
and send them to a stroke ready hospital. At Astor RV Hospital, we have a biplane cat lab and a hybrid operation theater. In a hybrid OR, we can even do an angiogram as well do a surgery where an interventionist is working through a femoral route, a percutaneous route, and the surgeon works through open brain. So these facilities help in the better outcome of these patients.